Okay, lesson four. Let's get into some scale work. Scales are really important. It doesn't matter whether you're planning on playing lead guitar or just a rhythm guitar player. You still need scales either way. Okay? So let's give this a shot. We're going to play the main, what I call the main pentatonic scale pattern. You maybe already know this one. I'm going to play this starting at the fifth fret. This would put us in A minor, technically. Here we go. <laughs> you want to be able to play this pattern forward and backward. And you want a practice of scale pattern like this over and over and over again. Start down at the first fret, play it there, slide it up a fret, do it again, just keep going, play it at every fret on the fretboard. This is how you change key, but by practicing it at every fret, you'll just really drill it into your memory. Okay, now I'm going to show you a really helpful practice technique and exercise to take and apply to this pattern. And basically we're going to play groups of three. I'm going to start with a note, play the next note up, and then back to that note I started with. Then I'm going to play the next note up in the scale as my starting point, up one and back. Here we go. <laughs> backwards. Okay, you want to work that pattern like that until you can get it quick. And so on, like that. All right, exercise three, we're going to play in groups of three again, but this time we're going to use three different notes. I'm going to start on that first note, play the next note, and then the next note after that. So that's three up, one back. So by, I'm going to go back one note and play three up from there. Okay, so up three, back one. speed it up and speed it up and speed it up. This thing actually turns into an actual riff that you've probably heard in some solos. Okay. 